Unleash your creativity by crafting captivating morph animations with the loopback wave script. Discover the art of integrating it into stable diffusion and let your imagination run wild. Before you jump into stable diffusion morphing animations, make sure to have the FFmpeg tool installed. You'll find the link in the description. With FFmpeg properly installed, we can now move on to obtaining the loopback wave script. Simply head to the official website. You'll find the link in the description. Right-click the script hyperlink, select Save Link As, and place it into your assigned directory for stable diffusion scripts. Ensure to assign a fitting name. We'll call it loopback underscore wave. Our next step involves preparing a small set of five images to act as transformation points for our final morphing video. It's crucial to have the initial image seed for accurate operation of the loopback wave script as it guides the morphing process effectively later on. We should proceed to the image to image tab and perform a drag and drop action to place our first prepared image onto the canvas. Following that, our model choice will be rev animated and we'll then proceed to select both a prompt and a negative prompt. As for the sampling method, we recommend using DPM++2 MSDE Keras with a total of 30 sampling steps. It's also crucial to set the CFG scale to 7. Equally significant is the denoising strength factor, which should be kept at 0.3 and the seed at minus 1. Scroll down and choose the loopback wave script from the available options in the script dropdown. Let's begin by focusing on the fundamental settings within the loopback wave script. These include the frames, frames per wave, and the maximum additional Denoise parameters. With five images in preparation, we'll adjust the frames per wave to 20, resulting in a cumulative total of 100 frames, and we will set the max additional Denoise to 0.7. We're now at the Prompt Changes input field for the loopback wave script. Here, you can finally adjust changes at specific time frames, including the image seed and the corresponding prompt edits that collectively create a smooth morphing effect. The prompt changes functions in the specified format as follows. Every prompt change initiates with the frame number at which the change occurs, along with the image seed indicating the morphing destination. Additionally, this includes the prompt and the corresponding prompt change. For each prompt change, don't forget to use double colons in between the frames, the seed and the prompt change. We've reached the video settings section. Choose a suitable title for your video, like Morph Animation, and then continue with the following settings. We will set the frame per second to 10. For the video quality, we will select 40. And for the video encoding, we will select VP9 WebM. Once all the settings are configured, simply click the Generate button. Then sit back and unwind while your captivating morph animation takes shape. Once the entire procedure is complete, you can locate the resulting video in the Stable Diffusion directory in the Loopback Wave folder in the Image to Images folder. Give it a double click to experience the incredible morphing animation you've just crafted. I trust you found the video on crafting morphing animations enjoyable. Please leave a like and subscribe. And we look forward to connecting with you in the upcoming video. Take care.